Hello my friends, how are you? Today it's time to drink a bit. Uh, I mean, today it's time to work a bit with this good-looking uh, bottle of scotch whiskey. And the first machine I will use, it will be a table saw with sliding table. It will help us to make couple cuts and the first cut it will be uh, I will use the sliding table and with this stop block on the end like you see it's very easy to get first straight edge for the for a second cut I will use a rib fence of course I, I've checked dimension uh, on the uh, on the middle area to get the uh, right dimension and it's easy like you see so the second cut and the board is ready to next machines so now I will use the grip fence just uh, as a stop block for cross, uh, cross cutting uh, because uh, you see the right edge on the on the board when you when you cut it then must be clearance uh, um, between material and the uh, rib fence to avoid the blocking of uh, material uh, now uh, one machine is missing was the planer no, sorry jointer jo jointer so now I'm working on thicknesser uh, just couple passes and material is uh, ready to glue up and like you see all the boards is uh, all the boards they have the same direction because of grain I want this amazing grain on the top and I'm really not scared about uh, bending of these uh, boards you will see why a bit later okay so I will using a carpet uh, scraper to remove all the um, all the glue, it will help a bit uh, with the um, with the with the thicknesser. Again, the material will not uh, sorry won't move it on the on the table on the, on the machine. And again, cross cut. And this time I will uh, prepare two pieces about 80 centimeters long, long. It will be material for uh, for box. So, and now the worst part of uh, working on this machine: <laughs> rotating and uh, this wheel to lower down the table of uh, thicknesser about 18 centimeters to change the type of machine to the joint area i must think about uh, some improvement how to speed it up i have some idea but it's a story for another movie and now is jointer again and the board is uh, quite wide as about uh, 18 centimeters so like you see I'm using my push block on the end to help uh, moving this uh, white board and the second operation and second edge and the last one and we can back to the thicknesser again that's right like you see I'm using 
a special fluid to to help moving uh, all woods. This this uh, this ash is quite dry, but um, I'm using uh, this fluid very often, and it we, uh, really really helps machine moving uh, all boards. And like you see, it look really cool. Okay, so now again cross cut, cross cutting, and the flying small pieces. Be careful with this all uh, small small parts of wood. And now I must cut exact on thirty and forty. Uh, centimeters. Two pieces uh, by one time, no problem, of course. And the last cut, I'm using. Uh, I'm using very often one fence, the the on the on the right on or on the left. And now it's time to think about connection of the um, for the boxes. Sorry for the box, and I decided to use Panther router, and I'll do finger joints. It's really strong connection and uh, very easy to do. The bit is about uh, tenth, yeah, it's a tenth millimeter, and crack on the on the edge. You see, it's easy to fit. Start from the bottom. On this, uh, on the on the edge, but it's really easy to fix. Fix it and rotating 180 degree, the same position, very fast and very accurate, uh, accurate work. And now I'm back to the table saw, just to count the the first board which you see on the start of this movie, on the beginning. And uh, the board, like you see, is quite thick. It's about 23 millimeters. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have now the band, so uh, which I can cut it through. So I need again use the thicknesser just to make it about 20, uh, sorry, 12, 12 millimeters. And here it is, the, the front board. Like you see, there is uh, four, four holes in the middle. And I will cut it to the two different, two different ways. Now, first cut is uh, 90 degree on the top and the bottom of this board. And uh, because uh, the mm, the cylinder of the the box of sorry the cylinder of uh, the box of the bottle uh, it need to be mm, visible through the through the top of this box. So I decided to do this this way. You will see, you will see <laughs> in a uh, couple seconds. The the first cut, like you see, was 90 degree and sec uh, sorry, first and second cut. And now third and fourth cuts, it will be about 30 degree. Why? Hmm. You need to wait a couple seconds more. And the work must be really, really slow. Slow. Okay, fit. Exact. Exact. So now all is clear, I think. And we can glue, glue it, all the box. I didn't record, sorry, I didn't record one process and uh, to 
on the bent on the table saw you see this uh, two grooves on the on the bo on the sides sides on the, of, the, of the box uh, it was my mistake I should use um, rotor instead of table saw but you will see uh, I will fix it later so now couple minutes of work with glue the next day I start with uh, the small Japanese saw for trimming all the extended material and next tool like you see is uh, Japanese Kana to, rim to, to finish this process it's very fast type of uh, it's it's very fast work for sure and why I didn't use a sander here because I want all straight edges I don't to destroy it and now like you see I set it up uh, for set up sorry the set up depth of cut on 15 millimeters because the edges the sorry the sides of this box is 16 millimeters so I have still one millimeter left and the box is still keep in one piece now to cut it through you can use a jigsaw or sharp knife whatever and or Japanese saw just uh, cut it through and then the box will get to pieces like you see on the on the middle of the box I'm using uh, or chisel or small uh, very small small hand blade hand planes but you can do like you want of course just be careful do, do not remove too much material because uh, then will be quite hard to make it really flat and now it's time to think about insert for this box so I decided to put the three couple of, uh, sorry three pieces of wood some kind of exotic I'm not sure uh, what is it but it's quite hard 10 millimeter thick it's enough okay so now couple measurement tools in my hands and we need to I need to draw the shapes of the on the bot of the bottle and the glasses and it's not easy believe me because I need to keep the bottle very high uh, just under the the top of the box so I decided to use uh, again very thin blade of the uh, of the not scroll so how to call it damn again uh, I forgot the name of <laughs> sorry the English name of this machine but it's another Pegasus yeah and I'm cutting three, uh, three pieces on the one time, it's no problem. And to clean it up, I'm using a spindle sander. Like you see, new paper, so the, the work is very fast. And the dimension is nearly the same as the bottle, so it's easy. easy and without dust okay but the the now i need to use um, drilling drill machine to get a couple holes uh, to the to the bot sorry to the glasses and i'm using stop blocks just to get exact mirror and now 
couple cuts by hand. I'm using magnetic 90 degree block. And now I'm using trimming rotor just to add small jumper on the edges uh, for the glasses because I need to keep them really in place. And now I can try it out. It's work or it will, sorry, it's working or not. Always is a bit um, risky, but it's the glasses fits really, really good. And the bottle too. So I'm quite happy. And now it's time for um, for finishing. I'm my wife is using here. I think it was some kind of oil, but hmm, okay. Uh, it was tung oil, so it's quite good. One one coat is enough. Of course, I need to wait a bit uh, for, for drying out, and I can start work with with glue, of course. I was uh, hmm, I was afraid that uh, CA glue will not keep this uh, will not glue it because of oil, but it's working. I was surprised, really. So couple minutes just to 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 be sure that uh, all pieces uh, are exact in in place, and couple minutes waiting for um, drying out and now it's time for hinges uh, i decided to use here a quite special barrow hinges and the dimensions was about 14 uh, millimeters and the size of the, the of this box is 16 millimeters so it was quite risky but it's working like you see. And now I can fit it in place. Two hinges. This uh, this hinges are these hinges are quite strong. I'm using them very often. Just couple uh, there is uh, one screw inside and you can also add another screw if you want, of course. And the last part is locking me mechanism. I'm <laughs> it's recycle because uh, uh, I'm using it from I I was removed it from another box. It looks and working very good, so I'm quite quite happy with result. And it's done. Okay, so here it is, exclusive box for single malt whiskey, already done. I spent here two days and I didn't taste it. Shame Yarek, shame Yarek. <laughs> okay, so like you see, I add here another stop block because, uh, you know, the, the X position of the bottle must be exact. Um, the same all, all the times to can close the 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 top okay and the glasses are not moving anywhere because uh, of these shapes here and here and this foam can squeeze it a little bit not too much they they don't go anywhere what do you think about this box? <laughs> For sure, uh, this uh, single malt is much better, but I cannot touch it. I cannot taste it this time. Maybe next one, next one, uh, next time. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Thank you for 
or your comments and likes and subscribes. See you next time. Bye bye.